Berlin semifinal. The winner will take on Anna Kailinskaya in the championship match. Coco Golf, Jessica Pegula, two good friends. We all know that. They've made the WTA finals in doubles back-to-back and singles for that matter. But in terms of the head-to-head, Pegula has dominated this head-to-head. They've played four times. Pegula owns the head-to-head 3-1. The most recent came in Cancun where Pegula won that in straight sets. I was there. And then they turn around the next day and play doubles like nothing happened. <laughs> but the only time they played on grass, <laughs> Coco won that matchup in Eastburn last year. But Pegula also beat Coco in Dubai. Now, Pegula skipped the French Open. She said, look, she needed time to find her form. She sent a message to all the fans and to us saying, look, I'm okay. I'm just resting, working on my form. And she found it pretty darn quick as she took out Donna Vekic in the first round in straight sets. Katarina last time out in three. And Coco, on the other hand, has looked amazing, beautiful. The hair and all. I like the hair. I like the neon headband. I like the new Coco's. Coco says he's going blonde for the summer. But do you guys want to hear something scary? Coco is reminding me of Serena Williams every day. Yes, she just got to win a little bit more championships. She got to win more slams. But the way she talks in these interviews, she sounds like Serena. Her hairstyle, like Serena. And listen, guys, watch her return, how she rocks back like Serena. I did a video of the top 10 most intimidating, most intimidating athletes poses, right? Their stanzas when they're in action. Jordan was on that list when he used to stick out his tongue. Mike Tyson when he would just roll his eyes and stare you down. Barry Bonds staring down the pitcher. And Serena Williams, how she used to rock back on the baseline. Coco does that now. That's very intimidating. But Coco started off fast here. She she held her first couple service games to love. It looked like it would be a very easy first set for her. But then Pegula started to warm up, ladies and gentlemen. But I want to take a look here at how well Coco's playing. Take a look at this clip here, guys. The serve is just too darn powerful. Kick serve. Pegula a little frustrated here. Now, after Coco would hold her second and third service game, actually, to love, it wasn't the first, it seemed like she would run away with this first set. But then... Coco started to fault, ladies and gentlemen, and Pagula, who loves to play so deep, and I say this all the time, Pagula does a lot of things really, really good, right? And it looks like in the first set, her game plan, just to stretch Coco wide, and I say this all the time, it doesn't matter how athletic you are. When you play a really good tennis player, a good shot maker, they can use your athletic ability against you, and Pagula did a good job of that in the first set, stretching the court wide, making Coco run, and then just changing the pace when Coco gets into the rally to hit winners. Very beautiful technique as Pegula takes the first set. And this is something I noticed I haven't seen in a while. Coco's getting down on herself. And I got a question for you guys. We're going to talk about this in the next video. What do you think is worse? Is it worse to have to play a quarterfinal and a semifinal in the same day or a semifinal and a final in the same day? Comment below. Let me know what you think. I have an answer. I'm going to answer it next video. We'll be back, guys. Coco down a set. Pigula. She wins the next set. She's 